We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. Most of the messages I receive on YouTube are religious in nature, but occasionally I receive messages from viewers requesting technical support. The questions vary, but it's usually something like, can you show me how to hack into a friend's computer? How do you build a massive multiplayer online role-playing game? My house is a wreck. How do I build a robot capable of cleaning my room? Clearly, there are more computer problems than there are users. Yet, most of the questioners I've encountered lack even a basic understanding of the technologies involved, which in turn becomes the main issue amongst them. It's their ability to coherently articulate themselves enough to explain their problem. Before you begin your quest for enlightenment, it's important to keep a few things in mind. The most important concern is communication. If you want help, you have to communicate your problem effectively. For example, this does not work. Hello, man. I have any ask. How I can know my IP is static or not? Do you know some tutorial? Do I know some tutorial for what? Why do you need this information? Are you building your own website? Is it hosted locally? Do you even know what an IP address is? While the answer to your question is easy enough, it remains unclear what your problem really is. Basically, if your IP address changes, it's dynamic. If it doesn't, it's static. Very simple to determine. But that's not really your problem, is it? There's just not enough information, which brings me to another point I'd like to make. Even though you are consciously aware of your problem, tech support does not experience your consciousness. I cannot emphasize this enough. Unless tech support understands you, we cannot help you. Here's another example that doesn't work. Let's try and break this down intellectually. I'm using modem and I can't log in on router because I don't have it. Okay, so your scenario presents a perplexing problem because the existence of a router is fundamental to the login process. Well, let me try and illustrate. If you want to log into a router, the router must exist. There's simply no excuse for ignorance these days. You obviously have the internet. Why not use it to find the information you're looking for? In other words, read the fucking manual. And when you're done, read it again. And when you're done with that manual, read another fucking manual. Listen, I'm not trying to be a dick, but when you're looking for free help, there's some common guidelines you should follow. For one, at least try and write like you finished third grade. And most importantly, be polite. Messages like this are much more likely to be used to humiliate you rather than help you. So it's important to keep that in mind before you seek tech support. Try and know at least what you're doing and what you need. It's very simple. Answer free here. If you haven't already, feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe. 
And if you are so assailed, feel free to send your hate mail to Facebook and Google+. You are not being led by a human brain. You are being led by a robot.